Hey friends, you're watching Brainstorm Makers. Today I'll be adjusting the float valve, and I'll take you on a quick tour of the Dutch bucket system. I'm going to do some fine adjusting on this float valve so that the water level comes up to the right point. Right now it's about a half an inch low, so I'm going to move this float up to allow more water to come out. Now the, since the water going to this reservoir is gravity fed, there's not a whole lot of pressure in here. That means there's not a lot of water that's going to come out from this float valve. I just need to let this continue filling up for a while and make sure that the float level is set so that it can continue to fill to that line. There's a nice little stream of water coming out of the float valve. But it will still take a little while to fill up to the line. We're about halfway to the line right now. I'm going to try running the pump now so that the water will fill up these buckets. The point here is to figure out how much water is going to come out of this float valve when the circulation pump is actually running. Now the recirculating pump is running and the float valve is letting water come out into the reservoir. And I'd say that probably over 15 minutes, that will probably end up with the level being at the right level. Now, a lot of float valves require you to bend this arm right here. I don't like doing that because it's a little difficult to get it to the right position. The nice thing about having this adjustment right here, it allows me to reposition this float as I need to. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the pump back on the timer and we'll check the water level after the timer runs the next time. Our automatic timer is going to turn that pump on here in about five minutes and we'll be able to let it run through its normal cycle and see whether or not it overfills the reservoir. I don't think it will, but if it does just a little bit, that's okay too. To give a rundown on how the system works again, There's a submerged pump in the reservoir, right there. It has a tube that comes out and goes as a main line. Irene plumbed this for me. It is a main line from a drip irrigation system. And if you look, 
there are drip lines connected into the main line. Those drip lines go up into the buckets. And we've, we've replaced a lot of the lids from these buckets with aluminum. We're doing the same thing as CB does in his Dutch bucket system for a lot of reasons. One is these frosting buckets that we get from the grocery store deteriorate over time. I paint the buckets themselves black. I happen to have some enamel engine black for uh, a project from a number of years ago. I have a bunch of it left over so that's what I'm using to spray the outside of these buckets. I don't spray the lids and the lids have been breaking. And as CB pointed out, sometimes they scar up the stem of the tomatoes. The nutrient solution flows up this tube through the drip emitter tubes into the bucket. It eventually flows back out of the bucket through these return lines, back down into the main return line right here. There's two pieces of 2-inch PVC used for return lines, one on each side of the bench. Both of the pipes are inclined so that all of the nutrient will flow back into the reservoir. When I designed this Dutch bucket system, the intention was to have tomatoes on one side of this bench and smaller crops on the other side. But for a whole lot of reasons, we decided to go ahead and put in two rows of tomatoes. We did that last year and we did it again this year. The growth has been tremendous, but there's a problem. There's so much growth here that there's not a whole lot of space between the tomato plants. Now, we'd always intended to lean and drop these tomatoes. That's why we're using those reels to hold tomatoes up. And as you can see, we leaned one set of the tomatoes out into the middle of the greenhouse to make some more space. Now, if we actually had this set up the way I'd intended, we'd only have one set of these tomatoes. It would make it really easy to get in and deal with the, the fruits and the branches. Irene's pretty excited by some of these tomatoes. Yeah, the, the uh, gardener's delight has got some awesome trusses on it. 